Hello, I am Fielden Allison, and this is my wife, Janet. We've lived in Africa since 1972, and we were married in 1969. God blessed us with five children. Uh, we raised those here in Africa. We began our marriage ministry to families in Africa in 1984. Janet has a master's degree in marriage and family counseling, which she has used to help many people. My master's degree is in the study of the Bible, but I too have training in counseling. We've written four books which are concerned with family issues. We've seen that so many marriages are breaking apart. We believe that we have some information and answers which can help you solve your problems and for you to have a happy home. The question that we want to try to answer today is about how a husband can show his wife that he loves her. Of course, both the husband and the wife must learn to show each other love. But today's topic is to help the husband. Love can be shown in many ways. Often men think love is about having sex, but a woman needs a lot more than that. Perhaps you've heard of the story about the husband who said to his wife, I told you when I married you that I loved you, and if I ever change my mind, I'll let you know. <laughs> you know, every person needs to be loved. Love is one of the biggest emotional needs of boys and girls as well as men and women. It has been proven that when a baby is born, if she or he is not loved, then that baby will not grow well and may even die. Mm -hmm. A baby needs to be held and talked to and even to be told that he or she is loved. Many youths grow up on the streets of our cities and they've not been loved and thus they become people who don't love or care about other people. That's right, Fielden. And the same thing is true for a wife. She can be beautiful and work hard, but if she's not loved by her husband, it can cause her to become harsh and cold and unloving. But the opposite is also true. If a wife feels loved and appreciated by her husband, she can endure a lot of stress and hardship. Love in marriage is like honey to a bee. A bee cannot live without honey, and neither can a marriage live without love. You know, I believe that every man wants to be loved. Every husband wants his wife to love him. But many husbands don't understand that if they want to be loved by their wives, then they too must love their wives. The more a husband gives love to his wife, the more love he gets in return. There's a good return for your investment. Kenny Rogers sang a song which said, Love will turn you around. When a woman is loved, really loved, by her husband, it will turn her around. She too will become a very loving wife. Do you men doubt what I'm saying? Well, give it a try and see if it's true or not. Don't take my word on that. Try it for yourself. I believe what you say, Fielden. When you show me that you love me and appreciate me, it makes me feel so good, and then I also respect and love you more. When I feel that you don't love me, it makes me withdraw from you and act in unloving ways. I've noticed that it is also true in other marriages. Marriages that are happy and doing well are filled with love. But in marriages that are breaking apart, the husband and wife have forgotten or perhaps they have made the choice to not show love to each other. Tell us, how does a husband show his wife that he loves her? Can you remember when you were trying to win your girlfriend and hoping that she would agree to marry you? How did you act? For some, it may be hard to remember because it was many years ago, like me. But try to remember what you did. To win a girl's heart, a man does many things. He tries to impress her with his cleanliness by taking a bath and wearing his best clothes. He talks very kindly to her and maybe shares his dreams for the future with her. He also listens to her when she talks. He even tries to get her to talk to him. 
He may take her a gift sometimes, perhaps something small like a piece of candy or a handkerchief. Maybe he takes her for a soda or a cup of tea if he has enough money. And if he has the strength, he may even take her to a restaurant. He tries to be happy when he is with her. He puts on his best face so she can be impressed with him. This man who is trying to win the heart of a girl will look for the good things he sees about her. You know, there may be even some things he doesn't like about her, but he lets the good things be more important to him. He will even say good things about her when he talks to other people. He, he will try to impress other people with how good she is. Did you do all those things or perhaps some of those things when you were trying to win your wife? And Philden, I have seen that most husbands continue doing those things after they have married their wives, but only for a few months mm -hmm. or maybe even a whole year. But somehow he begins to think that now that he has gotten his wife, he no longer has to do those things he did to win her in the first place. He thinks that he has gotten what he wanted, a wife, but he forgets what he needs to do to keep her. The husband begins to take his wife for granted. All these things he worked so hard at to win her no longer seem important, and so he stops doing them. How do you suppose his wife feels when her husband stops doing those good things for her after they've married? Perhaps she feels that he only did those things to trick her, to fool her, so she would marry him. Perhaps she feels he really did not mean those things. Perhaps she feels that he really does not love her. Perhaps she feels that he only wanted to marry her for sex and to have someone to cook for him and wash his clothes and to give him children. If the wife begins to feel that way, can you see how she would then begin to be less loving to her husband? Can you see a crack developing in that marriage? Wow, Janet. What you said makes sense to me. And I think about how I treat you. I sure hope you'll forgive me for the times I don't show you love. As they say, I am a work in progress. Maybe I should say I'm a husband. <laughs> in progress. I hope that when you see me loving you and showing you appreciation, you'll make a note of that and even tell me what I did that made you feel loved. Yeah. That will help me do more of those things in the future. Certainly I do forgive you, Fielden, even if you sometimes yes. fail to show me love that does not give me a valid reason or excuse for not loving you or for treating you badly. I would like to tell the wives who are viewing this video that just because your husband is not showing you the kind of love you need, you don't have to act like he is acting. Love him anyway, just like God continues to love us even when we do bad things. Right. Your attitude and actions could change his life too. I once heard a story about a husband and wife who were not getting along well. The wife went to a lawyer and told him she wanted a divorce. She said her husband was no good and didn't love her, and he too wanted a divorce. The lawyer was a godly man and wanted to help this couple. He told the woman that he would write up the divorce papers and he would not charge her any money if she would do what he said. She agreed, and he told her that for 30 days she was to serve her husband even though he was not nice to her. She told the lawyer that it would be very hard for her to do, but because she would get a free divorce, she would do it. She would try. She went home, and when he came in from work, she met him at the door with a cup of tea and told him to sit down in an easy chair. She took off his shoes and washed his tired feet. Then she served him a delicious supper. She continued to do those loving things to her husband for the 30 days. When the days were finished, she went back to the lawyer. He told her that the papers were ready and all she needed to do was sign the papers and the divorce would be done. She told the lawyer that she no longer wanted the divorce because when she started doing those loving things for her husband, he also began doing nice things for her. He bought her a new dress and took her out to eat at a restaurant and they were making plans to take a journey together. 
You see, the good, loving deeds of the wife changed her husband. Your husband should show you love and treat you well, but if he doesn't, love him anyway. Your love for your husband may cause him to open his eyes and see what a beautiful and good wife you are, and he may begin to show you love too. It is worth a try. Wow, what a great story, Janet. There's a little bit of humor there, but it's a good teaching thing for us. I know things do not always turn out or end like we would like for them to, but regardless of how our marriage mate acts toward us, still each of us needs to be the best marriage partner we can be. A story is told in the Old Testament in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 about a man named Elkanah and his wife Hannah. Hannah was not able to have children. Other people shamed her and treated her badly. She very much wanted to have a son. Elkanah gave his wife good gifts. He gave her two times as much food as he gave to others. He told her in chapter 1, verse 8, Hannah, why do you weep and why do you not eat and why is your heart so sad? Am I not better to you than ten sons? Finally, God blessed Hannah with a son whom she named Samuel. The point of the story that I want you to see is that Hannah had a husband who did not treat her badly because she couldn't have a son. No, he loved her and treated her special. What a lesson for us who are husbands today. Our wives are a blessing from God, and we need to honor them and bless them every day. In Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 22, we read, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I love that story about Elkanah and Hannah. That is such a good example for families today. Can you think of other stories that show how a husband should treat his wife? Yes, there are many stories. But first, let us read some words from the Bible which show how a husband should love his wife. The Apostle Paul said, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25. When it says that Christ gave himself up, it means he died for his bride, the church. I don't know very many husbands who are willing to die for their wives, do you? Mm-mm. <laughs> Maybe me, right? <laughs> Paul continued by saying, So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, just as Christ also does the church. Chapter 5, verses 28 and 29. In the easy-to-read Bible, verse 29 is worded like this, No one ever hates his own body, but feeds and takes care of it. Let each individual among you also love his own wife as he loves himself. Husband, how do you treat yourself? Treat your wife like that also. In the New Testament letter to the Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 19, Paul told husbands, Love your wives and be gentle to them. Another translation says, do not be embittered against them. And in the first book of Peter, he said that husbands should try to understand their wives and that they should honor their wives. So, Janet, what do you think it means that a husband should try to understand his wife? Pretty good task, right? Sometimes it's kind of difficult, but I think that men believe that their wives should act and think just like men do. But God did not create women to be men. I'm thankful for that. A woman was created with more emotion than a man. Men want to solve problems and use their physical strength. A woman wants to talk and be listened to. The only way a husband can understand his wife is to take time to listen to her. He needs to put down his newspaper turn off his television, turn off his mobile phone, and just listen to what his wife is saying. One of the greatest things a husband can do to show his wife that he loves her is to just listen to what she is saying, her deep emotions and feelings. It seems very simple, but it's true. It does sound very simple. You know, in the Old Testament, the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 28 and 29, the scripture says, 
that a husband blesses his worthy wife, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done nobly, but you excel them all. Obviously, that husband had noticed all the good things that his wife has done and what a good character she had. He often told her what a good wife she was. If you read the entire chapter 31, you will notice that the wife's work was different from her husband's work and that he was happy with her work in the home, on the farm, and at the market. He honored her. He loved her. I can see that the scripture from Proverbs 31 points out what a godly woman is like. A husband cannot love and respect a lazy wife who does not take care of her home and the family. A wife should do the things that will make her husband proud of her. I remember a husband and wife who lived near us. The husband was a soldier and was always drinking and running with women. But he had the sweetest Christian wife. She guarded her reputation and worked hard at home. He knew he had a good wife. If a wife wants her husband to love and respect her, then she must also do her part by being the kind of wife he can love. That is very, very true. But to get back to the topic of today about how can a husband show his wife that he loves her, We've talked about many things a man does when he is trying to win a girl to become his wife. We also said that soon after the wedding is finished and the husband and wife begin living together, the husband forgets, or maybe he chooses to stop doing those things. Do you remember what you did to win your wife? Try to think of those things again and begin doing them again today. Treat your wife as a special person, a special gift to you. Mm -hmm. Talk to your wife as you would to a friend. Tell her about your joys and your hurts. Listen to her when she talks. When you have a little extra money, take her a small gift or take her out for tea or to eat. Stop looking at her mistakes and faults, but, but instead concentrate on the good things she's doing. Mm -hmm. Bless her and praise her in front of your children and friends. Remember, you cannot change your wife's behavior but you can change your own behavior toward your wife. And when you change the way you speak to your wife and the way you treat her, she will most likely change also to be a better wife. True. You are the husband, and you must take the lead in how you love your wife. It's up to you. Well, we hope that these answers have given you a better way to love your wife. If you have more questions about this, please write to us at aimfradio at gmail.com. We will do our best to address those questions. God bless you today. Thank you so much.